13 Action News Update, sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. I'm Dave Cravassier, and right now on your 13 Action News Update, DoorDash says it'll begin same-day deliveries of two COVID-19 PCR tests across the U.S., and Las Vegas is among the first cities to try out the new system. The company teaming up with digital health companies Vault Health and Everly Well for the effort. One test is a nasal swab, the other a saliva test. The FDA has authorized both kits for emergency use. The eviction moratorium is set to expire next week, but some Valley tenants and landlords have yet to receive their rental assistance. The county tells 13 Action News when the county received the additional money earlier this year, they accepted new applications, which adds up to more than 23,000 tenants and landlords still left in need. Caesars suing several insurance companies. It's over COVID-19 non-payment for losses worth more than $2 billion due to the interruption of business. Caesars suffered a significant financial loss after shutting down all of its properties last year. The suit claims the companies haven't paid anything, while Caesars has paid more than $25 million in premiums. Tuesday afternoon delivers some scattered showers, perhaps a rumble of thunder. Also some northwest gust of 30 miles per hour, keeping temperatures 10 degrees below average with highs only in the low 60s. Passing showers moving north to south across the valley and the rest of Clark County through the afternoon. A stray rumble of thunder can't be ruled out. These temperatures in the low 60s are going to stay in the 60s for the next few days and tonight. Uh, it remains windy and that'll make our lows in the upper 40s feel even colder than that day. A lingering breeze right on through the end of the work week and that'll keep us in the 60s, but we're calm and sunny and well into the 70s this weekend. Thank you, sir. That was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktnv.com and our free mobile app.